Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. So today I'll be trying out the new Laura Mercier Flawless Fusion Foundation. I'm very excited about this. So it's all the wear, all the coverage without the weight. So it's a lightweight foundation. It claims to be 15 hours of wear. High performance wear that's sweat, humidity, water and transfer resistant. So I'm going to be testing that today because we've got a massive heat wave going on in England right now. So that will be putting it to its paces. Claims it doesn't oxidise, so I've gone for the shade 2W1 Macadamia, so hopefully. So it's medium to full coverage with buildable coverage. Minimises the look of pores and imperfections, so I've already prime my skin with the Timeless Smoothing Primer by Tarte, so that's already on, so that should help. So I'm testing this out like I would test any other foundation. Controls oil, which I'm very oily in the middle of my T-zone. It's a matte finish, never dull, cake, flat or cakey, so hopefully it doesn't cake around my nose, because that's always where I seem to get the cakiest. It's got skin fusion technology, it's new. Provides ultimate long wear with comfortable, breathable ease. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to apply it. I'm going to put one coat on and then we'll see how it feels and how it sits and whether I need any more. It's a very short pump, so you only get a small amount. When you pump, you get that much. It's kind of a small amount, so I use quite a lot of foundation, so let's try this. face is a lot redder than the rest of my body so I'm trying to match this to my neck more than to my face. And this is my first time trying it. I've swatched it just to make sure the colour wasn't too dark or anything because that was one of my concerns because I ordered this off the Feel Unique website. Their website is amazing. They have um, platinum reward offers, not offers, um, chart kind of things. So I, if you spend, I think it's a hundred pounds, you get a five pound off next time you spend. And that website is so easy to use and you also, you get to choose your favourite brand and you get 10% off of them, which is amazing. And you can change your brand, I think it's at the beginning of every year I'm not sure there is a date when you can change it so I did a massive feel unique order so I'm very happy and very excited to be trying it all sorry if my voice is a bit croaky I've literally just woken up it's like six o'clock in the morning getting ready for work and I thought I'd try on this foundation today I'm not sure that's too light Mm. It's very nice. It looks very like skin like. I love it. This looks so pretty right now. As you can tell, I've used quite a lot. So, let's keep building. is one layer and I think it looks so pretty. I probably put a little bit more on my nose because my nose is very 
As you can see, it's medium coverage, but it's very skin like. It's very buildable, so I'm going to try and build on this bit. So I had all that redness there before. All seems to disappear, which is very nice. I'm sorry if I'm speaking so quietly. Cows are asleep over there, so. And I'm afraid the fan has to be on. It's so hot. It's like 22 degrees and it's 6 o'clock in the morning. So I always like to build up coverage underneath my eyes. very liquidy which I really like I'm not sure whether it's my shade it looks fine in person but on this maybe oh, I can't see me at all on the camera I look really light I'll zoom out it does match definitely matches See whether this is sweat resistant today. Um, meant to get up, I'll tell you what I meant to get up to today. It's probably not even that hot. 32 degrees. So I'm not looking forward to that. It's way too hot. Usually I wouldn't wear any foundation because, or any makeup at all, because I know it's just not going to last. This is very easy to blend, I'm just really nervous about it. Because of all other foundations, but it is blended in perfectly. That's it, it's done. So first impression so far, I haven't set it or anything. It feels very light. Um, I think it's possibly because I haven't worn makeup in so long, but it feels a bit cakey around my eyes, maybe I put too much on. Um, it looks like skin, which I really, really like. I think that's a really nice way to look. Um, lightweight, and the colour match is really good. A bit weird on my on my hairline. Though. Maybe we'll put that in a bit more. That's my fault. So yeah, so I'm going to do the rest of my makeup off camera and then I'll be back to show you the finished look and how everything's settled on and we'll do the finishing touches. And this is my finished look. I love the way everything has laid on top of this foundation. I think it looks on point. I don't really know what to say, I just, I love it. So final step is to set it with some Urban Decay all nighter pollution protect setting spray so i'm going to literally drench my face to give this foundation as much stability as it can and it's usually what i would do on any foundation day Okay, so that's all set in place, and if I just give you a close-up, 
of my finished look. So I used Anastasia Dip Brow in dark brown for my eyebrows. This is my first time trying it, so I'm gonna see how I feel. And I'll give you a review in a couple of weeks, just because I wanna give it enough time to get used to the product and everything, because it's something I haven't really used before. I used my NARS, I can't remember, creamy concealer in Chantilly and this blended on like a dream and it just seamlessly blended with this foundation so I love 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 that so it's my second time of purchasing this I set my whole face with the Laura Mercier translucent powder and again I've used this before love it it just sets it all in place perfectly and yeah, and I'll list everything else that I'm wearing down below and I will check back with you at the end of my day. Bye guys. Hi guys, I'm back from work and I've nearly been wearing this for 12 hours. So currently it is half five in the evening. I've been wearing this since six o'clock and I have not had to put any more powder on at all. I'm really sorry about my glasses. I can't take them off because you get those weird lines. So deal with it. Anyway, I have not had to touch up at all today. I think this foundation is amazing. Look, I've got no oil coming through. It's still as matte as it was when I left for work this morning. I love it. I think this might be my new go-to foundation. I'll keep trying more, but at the moment, I think this might be what I wear on a day-to-day -day basis. I think the fact that it's sweat-proof as well, because it has been at those 30 degrees today, quite high. So sweat proof and everything, perfect. I will say though that on I ordered this online, the colour match is very difficult to judge. I ordered, I was going to order 2N1, which is a neutral one, and instead ordered the warmer one, which actually matches more than the neutral one, but it's not as warm as I thought. It was very confusing, I kept going back and selecting a different one and going, oh, maybe I'm this colour. I had to research it a lot before I ordered the colour that I thought I was. That's the only problem I would suggest. Uh, maybe if you can, go and try it on in the store. Go and have a like a match so you get the right colour because it is quite expensive to have the wrong colour. Um, so it is £35 over here. Um, but other than that, I love this foundation and I will just definitely be wearing it again. And it will be, hopefully appearing in some other videos okay guys so i hope you enjoyed today's video it was slightly different than the usual doing a review i haven't done one of these for a while on my channel if you have enjoyed it don't forget to give it a big thumbs up down below um and let me know if you want me to review any other foundations and what foundations you want me to review um and don't forget to subscribe to my channel so you don't miss any of my content that i upload i am trying to get into more of a routine of uploading a bit more and I will see you in my next video. Bye guys.